Thank you very much, um, Your Honor. My question also is to the government representative in the Senate. Um, Senator Gold, I have been asked to ask you this question on behalf of many people, uh, many Baha'i Canadians in our communities. They are very concerned with what Iran is doing to Baha'is, Baha'i citizens in Iran. The persecution of Baha'is in Iran has increased, and at this terrible COVID time, it's particularly disturbing given the deadly spread of coronavirus in Iranian prisons. Then they have continued, Iranian government has continued to arrest and detain, detain Baha'is in on baseless charges. Hosma Talibi and Mohajit Agrabi is a, an Iranian Baha'i couple with family in Canada were recently arrested and had their belongings confiscated, including a piano played by their daughter. Leader, the Canadian government has always stood up for Baha'is in, in, in Iran. May I ask if the Canadian government will once again stand up for the Baha'is in Iran? Senator Gold. Uh, Senator, thank you for your question and for uh, shining a light on this most disturbing and uh, unfortunately ongoing uh, situation for the Baha'i community in Iran, a long-standing uh, community which has made a great contribution not only uh, to Iran uh, but indeed throughout the world. Um, uh, Canada uh, is a challenge uh, in many fronts in its relationships with Iran. Uh, but places the human rights uh, considerations and concerns of Iranian citizens at the heart of its foreign policy engagement with Iran. Uh, I do not need to remind this chamber of the challenges uh, that we face uh, in uh, dealing with uh, the regime, uh, but I can assure this chamber uh, that the situation of individuals and communities within Iran remains of great concern to this government. Senator Jaffer, did you wish to ask a supplementary? Yes, please, uh, uh, Your Honor. Uh, Leader, thank you very much for your response. And um, I, I, I'm very much aware, as the Baha'i Canadians are aware of the challenges with the Iranian government. But, Leader, the Canadian government has always stood up for the Baha'is. And I would ask, that we, it is cr crucial that we protect the Baha'is and all the minorities. And I ask if the Canadian government will join other governments in speaking out for the rights of Baha'is. We've always done this. Will we do it again? Senator Gold. Well, well thank you, uh, Senator, for the, for the follow-up question. I mean, Canada's uh, approach uh, to uh, uh, issues like this in Iran and indeed with regard to other countries is indeed to work with our allies. Our voice is stronger when we join with like-minded countries. And Canada remains committed uh, to, uh, up, to insisting that countries uh, uh, live up to their human rights uh, obligations. Indeed, that's why Canada led a resolution earlier this month uh, calling on, on uh, Iran to comply with its international human rights uh, obligations.